Hi everybody! Some times ago I have created a video about the installation of the printer HP LaserJet 1010 on Windows 10 and Windows 11. That was working for many people around the world, but consider this fact that I am creating another video about the same issue. In this video, I want to tell you a really general method using which you can install your printer on your Windows 10, Windows 11, but at this time it will work for many other people too, because it is quite general. I am Said, and you are watching the Key Channel. The printer HP LaserJet 1010 is a really heavy duty kind of uh, office printer because of the fact that you can use it for several years. Of course, you have it for 7 years, 8 years, 10 years, but still this is not a time to make it retired because it works really fine. There is no idea about changing it, about replacing it with another printer. It is not rational at all. What we can do about it is that we can install it on Windows 10 and Windows 11, despite the fact that apparently it is not possible. Google HP LaserJet 1010 driver. I have it in here. Click on this link. This is the HP website, exactly for what we are searching for, HP LaserJet 1010 printer series. It cannot detect my operating system, as you can see, click on this one, and manually show it. The operating system is of course Windows, and look at this my friends. If you are using Windows 64-bit architecture, click on this one download this one, which is basically created for Windows Vista, but it works on Windows 10 and Windows 11. The only thing which is important is this number. When you are using Windows 64 bits, this one is quite appropriate for your printer for installation. And if you are using Windows 32 bit, download this one or this one. Both will work for you perfectly. So I click on 64 bit. Click on change. Driver, basic drivers, and this is the only option that we have. Click on download and wait for it. I save it on desktop. It has a really strange name. Click on save. The file is ready. Here it is. Now we need to extract it. Extract to. OK. And this is our folder. Now this is the time to go to control panel and remove everything related to the previous installation of this printer on your computer. First, select large icons if it is not already on it. Click on devices and printers. Here, you need to eliminate everything with the name of LaserJet 1010. It's your printer, of course, but I don't see any in here. If there is any, right click on it and click on remove device. Eliminate it to have a fresh installation afterwards. Now, connect your printer via USB cable. Turn it on and restart your computer. Again, I insist that after removal of the remnants of previous installation of your printer, you have to connect it to your computer and then turn it on and restart your system. Afterwards, 
we get back to the to this point. Control panel. Click on devices and printers. Here you can see really your printer, but it is unspecified, meaning that Windows understands that you have connected it to your computer via USB cable. But that's it. It cannot send printing command to it. So click on add a printer. You don't need to wait for this window. Click on the printer that I want isn't listed. Click on the last option. Add a local printer or network printer with manual settings. Click on next. Here you need to consider a port for a printer. Of course, this is a USB. In here you can see only USB 001. You may have two or three in here. Look at this. If you have another printer installed on your computer, which is connected via USB, you will see another one, USB 002. If you have two printers installed on your computer via USB, you will see three in here. Of course, you need to use the last number that you can see because other ports are used for other printers. I have only one, USB 001. Click on next. In here, we have a list, but we don't use it at all. You may never see this one. It is completely different from system to system. Instead, we know which driver we need to use. Click on Have Disk. Click on Browse. And then, in here, go to the place on which you have saved those downloaded drivers. Here it is. Its name is slightly strange, distracting, HPC1015W, but don't think about it. Just click on it and click on Open, because it is used for many other types of uh, printers created by HP. So, its name is slightly strange and it is not exactly LaserJet 1010. Click on OK. Now, in this list, Click on 1010HP. Click on Next. Of course, you need to use this one. Replace the current driver. There might be another driver on your computer. It will be copied and your printer will not work again. Don't use this one. Of course, you need to this one. You need to use this one. Replace the current driver. Click on Next. Here is an optional name. I don't love it. I want to make it so. HP LaserJet 1010. It will be shown in lists when you want to uh, get a print. Your printer will be shown with this name. You can use anything else. Click on Next. I don't want to share it. Click on Next. And now, it seems that everything is done. Now we want to print a test page. Look at this. Even for my old printer, it was too soon to get retired. I hope that works for you and let me know about it in comments. If you have another idea about how it is possible to install this kind of printer on Windows 10 or Windows 11, please leave me a comment and share your idea. Thanks for watching.